show you, you'll see. Welcome back to Heat, and this is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 230 pounds, Stephen Winter. You know, so many matches interest me at Unforgiven, Mark, but how about that ladder match? I mean, we've seen so many careers put on the line in this type of match, and you've got to wonder, Christian coming back from injury after Y2J put Christian out of commission in that cage match, and now he's got to arguably take part in an even more dangerous match, the ladder match. And no stopping me, no! You said it earlier, it's all about the Benjamins! So Shelton's been on the shelf for a while, but here he comes back to Heat, and he's looking to, well, get back on track as he faces the general manager of Heat, Stephen Richards. Yes, and it should be quite a main event here on Heat in the main event at Unforgiven. <laughs> that is going to be possibly a classic time. Well, you know, Shelton Benjamin was formerly a member of the world's greatest tag team with Charlie Haas. You remember that in old SmackDown days? Speaking of tag team, yes. Rhino and Tajiri are going to face La Resistance for the world tag team titles. Rhino and Tajiri, a very lethal combination, but do they have enough to beat La Resistance? You know what? I, I think they do. And the reason being is that from early on, you know, from my analysis, from breaking down the matches, Rhino and Tajiri, they just seem to gel, kind of like a, an offensive line in the National Football League, something like that. You know, they, they, the chemistry was there. And Rhino and Tajiri have earned this shot, Todd, whether you like it or not. They've earned this shot. Why would I like it? Why wouldn't I like it? You always look at me as if I, I have no business being here. I don't mind it. I think it's going to be a great matchup. Rhino and Tajiri, I like to call them Thunder and Lightning because Rhino's big and burly, and Tajiri's got cat like speed reflexes. You like that? And look at Shelton Benjamin. Doesn't seem like he's been on the shelf at all. You're the master. The master the obvious? of changing subjects. Yeah. Mark Lloyd, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I already gave you my two thoughts. Also, though, you know what? That's one tag team, and that's for the tag team titles. But also, it should be quite a matchup when Chris Benoit teams up with William Regal to take on the 16-time world heavyweight champ Ric Flair and then Animal Batista. Well, I don't know if you've logged on to WWE.com lately. Yes, I but, have. But we have these behind-the-scenes footage, things that happen after the matches. And I got to interview Batista and Ric Flair, and they talked about that match. And these guys are pumped up. They're fired up. Ric Flair and Batista want to destroy Chris Benoit and William Regal. Well, you, you know what, though? The other week on Raw, Benoit was the one making, who was that, Conway tap out in that huge eight-man tag team match. So we'll see if Benoit can make either Ric Flair or Batista. But, you know, it would be awful tough to make Batista tap again. He's done it once before, though, Todd. So don't don't count out the rabbit Wolverine. And William Regal, that's a man, that's a man bent on revenge, too, for what Triple H and Slash Evolution did to Yuji. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Wow, Stephen Richards. A gut check, so to speak, against Shelton Benjamin. And Benjamin down like a sack of potatoes right now. Man, you, you did you feel that all the way up here? I did. And it didn't feel good, Mark Lloyd. No. That can't either. Shelton Benjamin with a right hand. And Shelton, for having been injured for so long, certainly looks good right now in this match. You know, Todd, though, I, I have a question for you. Trish Stratus going up against Victoria. Will the problem solver Tyson Tomko be in the house? In ringside, even more important. Well, if history is in the indicator, I think Tyson Tomko will be ringside, and he will make his presence felt at the earliest convenience. You know what, Todd? Whether you like it or not, Tyson Tomko could play a big role in Unforgiven. Could be ringside with Trish Stratus. Could play a role in the Intercontinental Championship match between the CLB Christian and Y2J Chris Jericho. Well, yes, technically, Tyson Tomko Tomko is the problem solver for both Christian and Trish Stratus. And oh, look, look at that, look at it. Shelton Benjamin looks like Spider-Man flying up to that top rope and coming down with a huge crossbody, and this could be over. It's Shelton Benjamin picking up a huge... Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, I know, you and I are looking at each other. The crowd doesn't know what to say. That thought Stephen Richards was down and out. What well, the count. Shelton Benjamin stalking his play. Oh, oh, oh. This time, 
He's not as fortunate landing right on that top turnbuckle, right into the square of his chest. And speaking of being hurt, how about Edge with yeah. a torn well, groin? He's got to have, he's got to feel terrible having to watch Christian and Chris Jericho square off for that title. Well, 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 of course. I mean, Edge feels terrible because Edge can't defend the title and it was stripped away from him. But I mean, oh, I, I do understand. Oh. I understand what Eric Bischoff did. I mean, you got to defend the title in 30 days, and Edge can't do that, so the well, title must be no. vacant. Why can't he wait 30 days to find out? You can't say, ah, he's not going to be back. We're stripping it. Give the guy you a know, chance. You, you know why? And boy, it sounds like I'm defending Eric Bischoff because I, I am. I, you I, are. I, I am right now. But, Todd, whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, Eric Bischoff has done a heck of a job oh. on this unforgiving card. Hold on. Hold everything. A sliding drop kick right to the gut of Shelton, and thank God his abs look like a six-pack, or Shelton would be down and out. And, and you know what, Todd? You know, you're all down on Eric Bischoff, but also Eric Bischoff has that match that will happen at Unforgiven. Now, it's partially thanks to Lita, but it will be the Monster Kane and the returning showstopper, HBK, Shawn Michaels. Well, if you want action. You want excitement. Yeah. You want the unexpected. Give it to me. Kane will bring it, and Shawn Michaels, the showstopper, hasn't had a bad match in his life. Now, I agree with you on that, but, but Todd, oh, will... A roll look up. at this. Two, no. Todd, will the fury of Shawn Michaels, and could you get a little closer to me up here? Scoot away a little bit, pal. I'm I know we're excited. all fine. I'm I know sorry. that. I know that. But will the fury of Shawn Michaels be enough to knock down the big red monster? Well, we know I mean, that's Shawn, a tough task, Shawn Michaels has had back surgery, neck surgery, dislocated sockets. He's been through injuries, but you never know how you're going to respond until you get back in the ring. And if there's one man you don't want to start your comeback against, it's a guy that's seven feet tall and full of fire and anger. What, what, about, what about Lita? Where, where's Lita going to be in all this? Is she going to be backstage with you? I mean, is Lita going to be ringside, you think? I mean, is it safe for Lita to be out there being pregnant and all? Well, there, there's a psychological block there. How about the psychological block Shawn Michaels is going to have, knowing that Kane nearly ended his career yeah. four months ago? Do you remember that? I mean, oh, Shawn I mean, you were there, Todd. You watched HBK go out in, in the ambulance. And now you'll see him step right back in the squared circle. you got to be pretty emotional oh. about that. Going with a low blow there to Shelton Benjamin and down on one knee. And right now, it looks like Steven Richards may be able to end this if he can act fast. And Mark Lloyd, what do you think now? Shelton? I think oh, that the Big Bang Money Drop! Shelton is rising to the occasion here. You know what, though? What a main event. I mean, we were talking about it before he started that, uh, you know, looking at the Shelton Benjamin and Steven Richards match, that it was, you know, it was going to be one heck of a match, and it's lived up to the billing, no doubt. Both men struggling to get to their feet, and you got to wonder, Todd, whenever Superstar gets to their feet first, you would have to say the match is going to lean towards that person, and that maybe well, it's Steven Richards. It's Steven Richards who welcomes, who gets welcomed by Shelton Benjamin with a kick to the gut, oh. now back. A backhand. You don't see that too often. There's two. You know, I was going to say this match might come down to stamina, but both both superstars are in excellent shape. Incredible shape. But right now, Shelton Benjamin starting to roll, starting to bounce, getting the confidence, delivering a body shot, straight shot, back shot. Oh, he's feeling it. Oh, how much more can Steven Richards take? Tell me that, Todd. How much more? Shelton Benjamin, more than happy to deliver as many shots as Richard wants, and I don't know how many he can take. There's a side leg sweep, a Russian side leg sweep, and that's out. Oh, oh, my gosh. Get out of town. What is what is with Steven Richards? I can't believe it. How did, how did the right shoulder get up just then? Well, people how? people have criticized Steven Richards for, for a lack of what? focus. For, for a lack of focus. Well, tonight he is showing not only is he focused, but he is not a quitter. Look at the abuse Steven Richards is taking here. What a prelude to Unforgiven. I mean, this match is great. Unforgiven's going to be awesome. Todd, I'm glad I'm a WWE fan just like you. Well, Steven Richards, I just cannot believe the abuse, the beating he's taken, and is still able to give a little bit out. Here, it looks like he's going for a high-risk maneuver. Oh, bad news. Bad news. You shouldn't have done that, Steven Richards. Call it, Todd. It's a suplex. It's a two. And it's over. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Lloyd is on his feet, 
ladies and gentlemen, a standing ovation for Shelton Benjamin. Todd, I can't wait for Unforgiven, my man. So many great matches, so many titles on the line. For Mark Boyd, I'm Todd Bishop. Thanks for watching, E.